Hello, my name is uh, Anton. I'm a character artist at Unity Technologies with uh, several years of experience in the games industry, working on a range of titles from mobile to indie to AAA. And I am here to uh, give you a short walkthrough of how to leverage LookDev Studio for lighting and presentation of your character art. And here we are in LookDev Studio. When uh, first opening the program, you will be greeted uh, with the welcome window that is going to explain to you what is new in this version and also allow you to share your feedback, read FAQs, and watch an overview video. We won't worry about this for the moment. Let's just jump right in. And so when uh, you start up looked up, you'll be greeted with a default uh, empty scene and a few differences than what you in what you may be used to from uh, default Unity. As in default Unity, you do still have your standard UI features for controls like your gizmos for translations, rotations, and things like that. You have your uh, camera controls, your uh, post-processing effect that controls and turn lights that you can turn on and off and things like that. So all of that is still there. What's new is these little menus here. On the bottom left, you will find a uh, LookDev Studio specific window that allows you to toggle and change various things about this uh, environment. So I can turn on the HDRI sky, I can enable or disable the fog. When I have something in the scene, I can orbit my camera around it or orbit the uh, assets. And I can enable, disable the ground, snap it to the object, and, and so on. Well, we can get back to this, to some of these features a bit later. There's a animation tool as well, which uh, will allow you to drag and drop animations into your scene. And then on the right side, you will find the look to, sort of looked of main UI where you're able to browse through your materials, uh, textures, models, uh, shaders, your light setups, environments, HDRI environments, and in your animation list, as well as import any of the necessary assets with the big import button on the top, add any kind of uh, materials uh, that you might need for your assets, and also change the uh, lighting presets and also toggle between different lighting presets, like blue sky, church, night city, green cave. These are these make more sense if you have the HDRI sky turned on, so you can see there's a green cave and so on. So y these are uh, kind of a, a good starting point to start uh, uh, to bring in your assets into some kind of lighting environment. Then you can uh, also save out the camera presets and take screenshots. I'll just run you through some of the very basic uh, workflows of getting your model into LookDev Studio and uh, lighting it and presenting it. To get a model into LookDev Studio, all you have to do is uh, simply uh, click, on your, uh, click and drag your FBX into LookDev. Once the model is brought into LookDev Studio, it will pop up in your scene and open up a uh, texture allocator window. And this is a window that uh, UI we've put together to help you have more easily assign textures and materials to your models. So you will have the preview of your uh, model in the uh, left-hand window here, the preview of each material and all of the materials on the bottom here. So I can select, for example, her backpack. I already have the textures imported into the uh, into the project, but you can. Uh, you can bring your textures in simply by hitting on import and uh, it will open up a window. But I already have these uh, textures in the project. So all I have to do now is uh, simply click and drag the appropriate textures into the, uh, the fields they belong in. So there's the, uh, the base map goes into the base uh, color map. The uh, normal map goes into the normal map slot. The mask map goes into the mask map slot. And then the bent normal goes into the bent normal slot. Oh. 
looks like it's dragged some of them down here. Goes into the bent normal, it's fine. And then once you're happy with your, at least initial arrangement of your material, you can just exit out of here. You can see your your asset will pop into LookDev Studio with the material and the textures already assigned. Now characters are kind of a complex piece, or can be a complex piece with many different materials, uh, diff uh, like hair and eyes and, and things like that. So I'm not going to go through how to set up all of those things in this tutorial. I already have a, uh, a preset model with all of that stuff set up, uh, which you will get with the default package of uh, LookDev Studio. This has a full character setup with uh, starting from just your standard materials, your PBR materials, uh, along with uh, hair shaders, eye shaders, and the skin shader that's a simplified version of the, uh, the shader from the Digital Humans package. Um, so it comes with some super nice features, which will be very useful for a character. Now, once you have your model in and all the um, uh, kind of textured the way you like it, uh, or and has all the materials you want, you can go in and uh, you can create prefabs for it. And there's many reasons why you might want to create a prefab for a character just to contain some settings. But one would be, for example, if you want to pose your character in some way, I'm just going to do some very random pose just to kind of illustrate the, the point. Um, and you want to save out that pose, you can uh, right click on your model, go to save as, you'll, you'll get this uh, neat little uh, save as dialog, and it'll tell you that you're saving out a prefab in parentheses here. And, you know, and I can call this like random pose. And see. And when you do that, it's going to pop out pop up here with the in the model window with the rest of your uh, things. So if I remove this, I can always drag her back. And there's the uh, the pose I saved. Very nice. Uh, now, again, I've already went ahead and built a nicer pose. So for the, uh, for the purpose of pacing this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to use this. And this one also Again, this one comes as a standard in the uh, in the package. And when you have your model in, you can uh, orbit the camera around it. You can do a turntable. Uh, you can rotate the light as well, which is all super neat. And you can go in and uh, start picking out which um, which lighting setup you want to start with to start kind of lighting your scene. Uh, maybe you want to adjust the, the field of view of the camera. And then there's, there's your basis for where to start. Now on the uh, right side here, we uh, on the left side, sorry, uh, you have a, a hierarchy view, very similar to what is already in uh, Unity, that has uh, where you can access the settings for your directional lights, your your camera uh, settings, your post process uh, settings, and things like that, where uh, you can turn on all sorts of different. Uh, tone mapping and uh, now what I'm going to do is just uh, run through and uh, dress up the scene a little bit and at the same time kind of walk you through some of the functionalities of LookDev Studio of how you can leverage its tools to present your assets as, as nicely as you can. So uh, what we can do is uh, start off with maybe a simple uh, light setup. There's different ones uh, already that already come uh, pre-packaged with LookDev Studio. There's of course your standard three-point lights, some uh, area lights and things like that. I'm just going to drag in this 
three point light. And I'm just going to get rid of the directional light setup that is already there. Okay, and you can uh, start positioning it how you like it. Uh, let's see, for example, I think the key light is maybe a little dim, so yeah, I'm just going to drive up the intensity a little bit. There you go. And uh, maybe I want this uh, to be a little less violent, so I'm going to get rid of this gun. For example, I'm going to select it. I'm just going to hide it. And instead, I don't know, maybe she's opening this fridge up. So you can easily drag the assets that are included in uh, in looked up and start kind of uh, making your own little story, your own little uh, scene here with uh, whatever characters you might have that you want to use. Um, I can see, for example, like, oh, her hand doesn't uh, really fit the, um, the handle anymore, but I can always just kind of adjust it a bit. I'm not going to go super detailed into this for the uh, in the interest of time but let's say there's a pinky middle ring I don't know let's let's pretend I'm happy with this and then I can always uh, go in and uh, I click and, and save out this pose to use later if I want to um, no, what else? What else do we have here? I have a fire extinguisher. Just put that in her hand. There you go. Maybe like this. Very nice. And then well, I don't know why. Why was she holding a fire extinguisher and, and and opening up this fridge? Maybe there's something spooky inside. Um, so we can kind of like oh, all the you know the scene maybe needs some sort of spooky lighting. We can go into uh, the uh, the key, the spotlight key, for example, and uh, make this like oh, oh, it's very red now suddenly. Oh, scary, scary light. Let's brighten it up a little bit. But what's emitting this red light? I don't know. This could be something that's coming out of the fridge. So I'm going to drag in some area tube lights here. Uh, and let's see, I can adjust the length a bit and the range of them. So I can sort of fake some lighting coming out of the refrigerator. There you go. Yeah, make it nice and red. So it's scary. That's the theme. And duplicate. Duplicate. Yeah. That's nice and spooky. What else we got? Uh, has this awesome statue of a lion. Just gonna put that on top of the fridge. You can scale it with your standard uh, Unity tools. You know the WER you know, scale. Um, uh, was it move, scale, rotate? Yeah, put them on top there. Why not? And there, I have nice a nice little uh, scene I have put together with uh, just the assets in the uh, worked out studio. But I mean, that's kind of the the point here is to illustrate sort of the flexibility of how far you can go with these uh, uh, with this uh, with what's given in this program already. Um, and then uh, once you're happy with your scene or lighting setup or anything like that, you can. Uh, 
uh, you can, for example, uh, create a light preset or a light prefab. To save the lighting presets you created, you can uh, simply right click and uh, go to create lighting preset. And I'll just call this uh, spooky fridge. Uh, you can generate a preview for your thumbnail. by simply moving the camera where you like it to be and hit, hitting, uh, clicking on Generate Preview. And clicking on Save Light Preset. And you will find your light preset under the Light Preset drop-down window. You can also save out uh, cameras. So if you want some uh, dramatic uh, camera that you want to keep, uh, you just click on, on one of these little camera icons and go save cam and so that should mean now that this camera position will always be saved out in that little icon so number two maybe I want uh, something else and save that. So that's that way you can kind of uh, have some light presets you can always go back to, and you can create screenshots from them. Uh, one last thing I'll uh, I'll show you guys is um, an animation preview tool, and this one is pretty simple. Uh, there's this animation tab uh, on the top uh, top right. Uh, which allows you to, once you import your uh, animation assets, to just kind of drag them in to the scene. Now, bear in mind, these are test animations for this build. The, the ones uh, in the final release will look a little bit more uh, put together than this. But the, it's just to illustrate the point um, of how easy it is to just drag in your animations and swap between them, um, play with the playback speed. You want a loop or you don't want a loop. Um, so you can examine your assets in, in a sort of, it's in a nice uh, lighting environment with, uh, with animations turned on and all of that. Um, you can see for instance this animation seems to be uh, is offsetting a bit the uh, the ground for the character, and that's because the uh, the movement of the character is sort of changing its bounding box. So uh, to to fix that, all you have to do is just turn off snap ground to object, and now she's running along the ground correctly. And that was your basic introduction to the tools within LookDev Studio. Thank you for watching, and I hope this was uh, informative and, and useful.